So I was reading the Google News today and just going over um, what's been going on. And Mitt Romney says he's been having, a, he's had a good campaign week. He's been able to, you know, kind of get through it, refocus his campaign, and basically get down to the roots, to the theme, you know, on, on what, what he wants to present. Give me a freaking break. He was caught in the rich people's house talking about the 47%. And he says, oh, it was a, or his people say, that was a pretty good week. Come on, Mitt. Come on, Mitt. Grab that glove. Grab it. Catch the ball. Have some focus. You know, it's just, it's all, it's not all about you. I saw uh, you talking back in uh, 94, Mitt Romney, it was some kind of debate back then. And he actually was a good speaker back then. He actually, I'd vote for him back in 94. He was very articulate, very passionate. He was, he was good. Completely opposite of what he is now. Uh, I don't understand. I mean, somewhere he lost his talking ability, his, uh, his actually public speaking ability. Uh, give me a break. Anyway, I move, and then the next thing I saw, the, the panda. The poor panda cub died. Okay, first off, they, they, they're saying that about 50% of panda cubs die in captivity. Don't let them reproduce in captivity. Send them to the wild. Okay, maybe you can't do them, maybe they're endangered. Well then, I don't know, is there a way we can take care of the cubs? Maybe human beings can take care of them and give them a bottle of milk or something? Because they were saying that some of the cubs die when the, the you know, the panda bear, which I'm sure is thousands of pounds, sit on the cub because the cubs are super tiny. Well, of course you're going to die if the mom smashes you while she's on the breastfeed.